What's up? Welcome back, everybody. We are on the home stretch of the scooter build. I finally got this thing tore down and fully welded. That's why it's up on saw horses. And I forgot one thing. I need brakes. That's right, I forgot to make a brake caliper mount. So what I've got is a hydraulic brake caliper kit for, I believe this is like a doodle bug or a mini moto or something like that. And here is the actual caliper mount for it. And there's these two little screw holes up here at the top that you use to mount to the actual bike. Well, it's not going on a bike, it's going on a scooter. It's going on a custom fabricated scooter. So I have to make the mount. Then we'll mount it somewhere around here then i can take this frame outside paint it put it all together and finally ride this thing so that being said let's get after it all right so all i'm going to do here is trace this out I never said I was an artist. I'm not used to cutting stuff out of paper, but I guess it'll work. Now I get to go cut this out. That's gonna be fun. Now, when I say I spent hours cutting that little piece out, I literally spent three hours cutting that little piece out. So God, I need a CNC plasma cutter. So this is what I came up with. Got it bolted onto the caliper already. And what I'm thinking is we'll mount it somewhere in here so the bleeder screw is up so I can bleed it properly. I wanted to do it up here, but I can't get to the hardware. We're gonna set it here. I'm gonna have to make a tab that comes down from the frame and connects to this. So once I get that mounted, then we can run a brake line up to the handlebars. Now, one more thing that I wanna do, right up here in the forks, when I'm standing on it and kinda of shifting my weight, I feel a little bit of flex right in here, probably just cause this is so long. So what I'm gonna actually do is make at least one brace to go from here down to the bottom, give it a little bit more rigidity right here in the middle so it's not putting all that stress right here on these welds. And uh, hopefully that'll stiffen it up enough to where we're comfortable to ride it and there's no risk of this snapping off and yeah, because something tells me if that snaps off, it's gonna hurt a lot. Forgot to turn the camera back on, but here's the end result. I think it came out kind of good because this way I've got somewhere to mount a light and if for whatever reason I get stuck out in the woods, I got a handle right here to grab a hold of it and yank it out of the way, so cool. Now here comes the fun part. I get to strip everything back down, take it outside, get it prepped for painting, and then paint it. Alright, so I got the chain. I got a long brake line. Two throttle cables, just in case I screw one up. I've actually got another brake line as well. But this is my favorite part. These awesome grips. I think these are Vans? Yeah. Vans Cult grips, I think is what these are called. But these are these are cool. And I just thought they'd go with the uh, the old school aesthetic of this scooter so yeah i can't wait to run these things these things are awesome and they're super grippy too man this is like the literally the soles of a van shoe and i almost forgot about these maybe these will hold air better than those turds but first things first i'm gonna tear down and paint these dirty wheels these things are just gross and i refuse to put them dirty things on a freshly built freshly painted scooter frame 
nice. I think it's finally time to put this thing together. Let's go! I got a little ahead of myself. Uh, the camera died on me while I was doing this, but went ahead and got the grips put on, got the brake set up, got the hose ran, got my throttle installed. Here's the other grip, and the motor is all lined up. I've still got to put the driver on and the chain and run the throttle cable, and then that's pretty much all that's holding us back. There is literally no better feeling than when you finally get to ride something that you built from the ground up. I always get emotional at startups. Mm. All right, so before I start hooking up this throttle cable, there's a couple things that I need to decide on. Since everything up here is gonna be bone stock for now, I'm even leaving the governor in. And I really kinda of wanna keep this, just cause this is a little bit different and it looks cool. So I'm gonna leave it there, but I've got to install a throttle return spring so that it pulls back, cause it doesn't pull back all the way right now. I'm gonna remove this little one here and run a different spring from this tab up to this bolt Hopefully it's gonna clear over where my throttle cable's running so that I will have enough return pressure so the throttle doesn't hang open. I think if I can just get a hold of it. God, there we go. I'm trying to mount it up top here like this so it's out of the way of the throttle cable. It looks like I got it. I've just got to button up a few more things, tighten down the motor mounts, bleed these brakes, and put oil and gas in this motor. And we are ready. Y'all pray for me. All right. Safety first. I got everything done. Brakes are adjusted. Throttle's adjusted. The motor. We're about to see if it'll run. But, uh, let's see what happens.
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's almost better than riding your own stuff is watching somebody else have a good time on it. What you say? That's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> How do you think it's going to do with Busco? Absolutely wonderful because I would worry about the soft sand. But. Yeah. I mean, I'm always pack. worried about the soft sand. Yeah, but the hard pack <laughs> stuff, I think you're fine. Just keep it out the peanut butter, okay? Right? <laughs> keep it out the peanut butter. Got man. to. Got to. <laughs> well, dang on. Look who showed up. Yeah, Colin done built a new toy while I was out. <laughs> it's got a lot of power, I bet. You want to ride it? Do I want to ride it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I know. It's definitely a different experience. I kind of want to see if it'll wheel him. What do you think? Do it. Just don't eat him. That ain't no guarantees. <laughs> what do you think, John? You like it? I love it. No. Are y'all getting dizzy yet? Over with. Over with. <laughs> it's what surprises me is how easy to ride it is. Like yeah. it's like stupid easy to ride. It, it's it, it's a weird feeling being able to put your feet down and lean it. it it's hard to describe yeah it's, it's like a mini bike you can sit down and yeah you can put your feet out but yeah it's a different feeling when you're standing up sticking your foot out <laughs> i haven't even done a top speed run which is something i want to do today so all right let's just do that then we'll take it down the road john's gonna follow me in his car we'll get see just what the top speed is i'm guessing around 25 he's got his fresh hoopty down here his polished turd his hyundai accent we're gonna call it the southern accent and uh, I'll get this thing fired up and we're just gonna take it down the road a little bit. This don't try this at home. But here we go. Now it is a governed 224. Dang, I hit 26. Duck down a little bit and see if I can get it better. It takes a while to get up there, but apparently this thing will do 29 miles an hour. I'm good with that. There it goes, 29. Sweet. Dude, this thing got 29 miles an hour. <laughs> what were you reading? I don't know. I, I was watching you and drove one hand. Okay. Fair enough. Just for verification. 29 miles an hour. 29! 
<laughs> right? <laughs> and that's about as fast as I want to go on this thing. Mm -hmm. That's that. That's not bad. I, I, you know what? I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. Twenty nine miles an hour. Not quite thirty, but close enough. You want to take it down the road? <laughs> you know me and scooters don't get along. Oh yeah, that's right. Because of the go bed. <laughs> Yeah. That thing was terrifying though. Mm -hmm. Heck I'll yeah, ride man. I've on dirt all day, but you right. I'm good on pavement. You right. <laughs> so what do you think, y'all? It's pretty sweet. <laughs> this started out as a joke. About what, two years ago? It did. Yeah, it was a joke. <laughs> like, let's just make a scooter. We just kept putting it off, putting it off. Colin finally bought the, what was it, Affordable Bender. That's yep. what you bought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here it is. Uh, I, I kind of wish I used the jig to build this, not only to make sure everything was straight, but now people are asking me for them. And uh, I didn't write down any of these measurements. So I've got to go through and redo everything. Really, really pleased with how this turned out. It is super fun to ride. It's easy to ride. It's not so fast that it's uncomfortable to ride. It doesn't beat you to death nearly as bad as I mm -hmm. thought it would with it not having suspension at all. You got hydraulic brakes. You don't have to worry about a cheap band brake or them suicide brakes that push against the wheels. They get wet. You'll find out why I call it a suicide brake. Yep. I'm happy and I cannot wait to rip this thing at Mini Mayhem. This thing is going to be a ball. And if you get stuck, it ain't hard to pick it up. No, it's really light too. That's the that's the best part of it. And it's like it's stupid light. How bad it all. Yeah, I need to put it on a scale, but if I had to guess, this thing probably weighs right at maybe 100, 120 pounds, somewhere around there. Um, I don't even know if it weighs that much. But I cannot wait to rip this thing. And uh, also, I've seen where a couple other people on the Mini Mayhem group have been building scooters as well. So, Scooter Gang... May have started a trend. <laughs> I won't say that, but... <laughs> kind of been discussing building another one i'm thinking maybe a full suspension one at some point but if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe make sure you use the links in the description to pick up a t-shirt for mini bike apparel and until next time y'all get up get out there and get after him